little bit time, even though this is continuous plane, mm -hmm. but you can have little bit time in here. So that's why you know, editor, the editor you know, suggests finger number. Mm -hmm. So you can have finger number four. If you using finger number one here, then it's kind of weird play rest of them because it's higher motion then usually if you need to use in this bottom finger then you can go you have more room to play higher note but if you're using the highest finger then you need to cross over your finger so then it's kind of hard so can you work on just left hand? Okay. Um, this actually isn't my music, so... Ah, oh, sorry. I'm, 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 ah, okay. Um, so... Can I, can I stop for a moment? Um, let me talk to my class for a moment about something, and Melody, you can chime in if things are interesting to you, but, you know, we certainly sometimes teach a piano lesson where a student comes in and hasn't practiced, and Quite typically, that piano lesson is a situation where a student won't tell us, like Melody did, that she hasn't practiced as much as she wanted to. Um, now, um, what, do you, what do you do in that piano lesson? How do you treat that 60-minute piano lesson differently? You know, if you have a, you know, just like today, just like today, um, you obviously can't just, I mean, I think it's a little bit unfair for us to sit down and say, Melody, play the Polonaise. You know, granted, we didn't know you didn't practice this specifically, but you know, how do you how do we approach this? I think it's a great opportunity to just practice together. Maybe just pick something brand new, you know, and just start fresh. Just because, mm -hmm. obviously, you have a lot of things in progress, you know, at various stages, and because you haven't had a lot of time with them yeah. to do it today, just like you said, it's just like, oh, God, I know this, but I'm not doing this. Right. So you know, exactly. maybe just. Start with something new. And then I think you know maybe because we we talk about that at the beginning of this class about sight reading. So maybe it doesn't need to be perfect. You know maybe quantity is better than quality in at this moment. So forget about this when she said try find a new piece and start from the beginning. You know mm -hmm. maybe like you said you know find something new and refresh your. I think, you know, Yumi was about to lead us down a very good road, I think, in terms of, like, working with the student, you know. There's sort of that, like, checking in thing that you would do with a student who maybe has practiced as much as they wanted to or more. And then there's that sort of maybe working with a student that you might do with a student who hasn't practiced as much. I know that, I mean, I've seen sort of two schools of thought when it comes to teaching a lesson like this. One, telling a student to leave and go practice. <laughs> You know? Now, Huma time. Now, okay, now, while that sounds like sort of ridiculous, sometimes that's a really good thing to do. You know? I mean, I know that my policy with some of my students is if you haven't practiced, please call me up that morning and say, I won't be coming to my lesson and I won't be mad at you, and that's totally fine. I'll practice for that hour, it's totally fine. And they'll go practice too, and that's totally fine too. For that student, that's probably a, a better policy. You know, another thing to do is just to simply, as Justine and Dino were saying, just to simply sit down and practice with that student. You know, forget about having a piano lesson with that student. Have a practice session with that student. You know, try to get into what it's like for Melody to practice at home, and help her learn those sort of practicing skills. You know. Okay. Sorry for the aside. Okay. How about? Uh... So, <laughs> so do you want me to try a new one, or? <laughs> we can keep working on this if you want to, I'm just letting you know that, like, <clears throat> I do know it, I just I can't know it right now. <laughs> <laughs> she does know. You know. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see two outcomes from this that I think would be really positive and would be helpful to you. I'd like to see you polish this for next week. Polonaise. Polonaise. Yeah. No matter how much practice time you have this week, if if that if you seriously have only thirty minutes to devote to the piano between this lesson and next lesson, spend all of those thirty minutes on the polonaise. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. You know, the number one problem, as Yumi has pointed out, is fingering. 
you need to figure out exactly what fingering you're going to use. And I would suggest writing it in once you figure out a good fingering. Oh, I have. You have? It's written in. It's just I okay. forgotten it. <laughs> okay, okay. So learn, learn the fingering, learn the piece, be able to play it. Just, as Katura would say, just sing. Okay. Okay? Just play it. Right? Just sing. Okay? And then um, I think we can, I, I'd like to see Melody try something new and try something like out of the method book later on. So like um, something that you haven't seen, Yumi, and something that Melody hasn't seen. So if that's okay to, if, is that diverting too much from your lesson plan or is no. that okay? Okay. It's okay. okay. So um, this is sort of a sight reading workshop. Okay, so I thought about Park Fu. So actually, I was gonna keep her new one yeah. in here. Which one are you looking at? So Prelude. C major Prelude? Yeah, C major Prelude. Okay. So, so that, that's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea for this exercise. <laughs> First so, okay. Yeah, it, <coughs> no, it looks. Uh, looks complicated, but it's not okay. because you know, especially this one until here, same melody, uh, same rhythm. So, left hand play these two notes, and then right hand play. So it's kind of sixteenth note is going from here to here, just all the sixteenth note, and then left hand said, you know. As you use your 16th note, but mm -hmm. left hand needs to hold. So hold, hold the left hand. So, so this piece is not uh, is different than you know music or polonaise.